Brian. We got you some coffee in your back. All right, my first guest won an Emmy Award for playing everyone's favorite obsessive compulsive detective on the television show Monk, which begins its new season tomorrow night at 10 on USA. Please welcome Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> But they were cheering me. I, I got confused. I'm no. so sorry. I'm out here a lot. That's, that's the, those are the relatives out there. Yeah, yeah, nice. Nice to have you here on the show. So happy to be here. This band is out of control. They're out of control. Thank you. Thank you. You mean it in a good way. Not necessarily. I mean it in a bad way. way. They are out of control. Yes, I know. I was standing backstage. They're animals. It was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, good, yeah. That's one of the nice things about actually being at the real show is that in the commercial breaks, they keep playing, and I grab a mic, and I sing a song. Oh, wow. And there's a whole production number we do just for our audience here. Who knew? Who yeah, knew no they, one knows. And we they... give away color TVs, and it's incredible. <laughs> um, keep quiet. Uh, <laughs> I turn on them when I die. It's really sad. Um, now, I want to pay you this compliment, which is I have a big TV buff, and I got to the point where I thought it's impossible to reinvent the TV detective. Like, it's all been done. And then Monk comes along, and this character you're playing, obsessive compulsive uh, detective, and it's fantastic. It's Thank great. You. And I yeah. thought it was impossible. I thought it was an impossibility. It's, I, I sort of, I, um, I kind of hesitated too, you know, when I, when I first heard about the, when I first heard about the script and right, all. Right, right. Because I thought, geez, there's a lot of, you know, detective stories, a lot of cop shows now. Right. But this one, when I when I read it, it, it just you know it has so much. It, there's so much to it. It has sure. comedy. It has the pathos. It has. Right. It, it's um, the the mysteries are really kind of quirky and odd. Right. And I, I just couldn't resist it. Now you you play this obsessive compulsive character so well. You got to <laughs> wonder: Have you picked up any of those fears of germs or dirt or anything like that? Just playing the part. I I, I really have. You know, I, I I never used to think about. <laughs> I, I, it's it's just it's invaded my my psyche now. You know, I, I never used to think about shaking hands, for for example. Right. And on Monk, we do a whole running thing with, where he has trouble shaking people's hands, and he always has to have a wipe, and he, and um, I, it's happened to me. You know, I don't know if it's happened to anybody out there, but you're actually I, were you right well, now? I, and be honest, when you shook my hand when you came out here, were you afraid? Were you afraid? That I, it's not like a fear, but it's that ugly little thought that kind of travels through your head, you know? Because I haven't washed, you, I, I haven't washed my hands in years, by the way. <laughs> I'm a dirty, dirty man. Yeah. But, but you know, you're out in the world, and then you notice, uh, you know, when you're being introduced to someone, you'll you'll notice little things like people going. Hey, how are you? You know. Oh yeah. You just go. Whoa. I think it's fun to do that on yeah. the show. Yeah. I'm like, uh, hey, how are you? Do you find? I mean, that's the other thing is like, for example, Donald Trump is famous. He doesn't shake people's hands. He just refuses to do it because he's he's afraid to do it. And uh, yeah, and he actually carries like wet wipes with him. You know, which I really? know. Yeah. Well, my character does that. Right. But right. I I don't do that. I mean, I still I try to be civil. You know, to people. But right. that ugly little thought. Oh, it's going through my head. Do you get carrot? Do you get uh, fans on the street who who think it's funny to like? Oh, they they you they, know they'll relate put their to hand out and then they'll pull it back or they'll they'll give me a wet wipe. I've gotten a lot of wet wipes. Uh, right. And you always have to act like it's the funniest thing you've ever seen. And uh, after about the two thousandth time, it gets a little get, gets a little old. Right. Right. I know what that's like. Yeah. I went through years and years of, I mean, up until I actually, it still continues. Sometimes people are like, Hey Conan, are you a barbarian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I laugh very hard every time. Yeah. Cause I'm an idiot. Oh, me too. <laughs> But don't people say to you, oh, my God, you're so much taller than you? That's all I hear. When I go out in the world, people expect me, because of my TV persona, to be about three feet high. <laughs> I think I, cry, I come across on TV as like a little leprechaun, <laughs> a little devilish little man. I and understand. then in real life, I'm, I'm over nine feet high. I get that. <laughs> I'm like a Mardi Gras puppet when I walk down the street. It's just big... That was too far. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I get the same thing, except for me, it's, it's this other thing. You know, people come up to me and say, it, I'll tell you, this happens a lot. It worries me. Uh, they say, oh, my God, you're so much better looking in person. 
You know, they don't say, oh, you look different, oh, you're taller, you're fat, right, or whatever. Right. It's, you're so much better look. I'm thinking, how bad do I look on TV? Because <laughs> right. this will be a day like I'm, I'm traveling, I got a two-day growth, you know, beard, I'm wearing right, sweatpants, right, right. and, you know, mustard on my shirt. Right. And, the, and I'm thinking, I can't, you know, maybe we should change the film stock that we're using. Maybe <laughs> stop using that ugly stock or something. Well, no, I, I relate to that because when I'm out and around, uh, and my producer will back me up on this, like, we, we hang out together a lot, <laughs> a little too much. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but people are always saying to me, you're better looking in person. And the thing is, they think they're complimenting you, but I immediately go to, no. am I just a horse's ass yeah. on TV? <laughs> How no bad is it? Are there stink lines <laughs> coming off of me? <laughs> Yeah, there's no compliment in there. No, no, no. I don't know what they're trying to do to us. They're trying to hurt us. Yeah. That's why we I should know. never go outside again. Um, now, I'm you, of course, uh, people uh, love this show, Monk, and you've been up for a lot of awards. You go to a lot of award shows. And you, and you do a nice thing. You, you bring your daughters uh, to, yeah, to, to the award shows, which is nice. I have two daughters, and yeah. um, I like to bring one or both, depending on, you know, who's available. Right. Uh, to me, and um, but my younger daughter had a really hard time, and I brought her to the uh, to the SAG Awards, which I've I've been to twice now. Right, and um, you know she she got a little freaked out. She didn't really she she was she said to me before she she hoped I didn't win because the SAG Award, as people may know, is that big. This big, is the Screen you know, Actors Guild. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, it's a big naked naked guy, you know, with the. It's a green statue with the butt and the legs and everything. And she was, you know, she was 10 years old, and she right. was a little freaked out by that. You know? She didn't want you actually winning because she didn't want that thing coming into the house. Well, she thought it was the big one. She thought it was the big one they have <laughs> she, outside the she door. She thought it was the prop that's yeah, outside. They have this big statue. It's right, 10 right, feet high. It's right. a little shorter than you, actually. And um, <laughs> Thank you very much. And, uh, uh, and uh, she... You know, but even the small one, when she saw, you know, the small ones being right. presented, she, she was not comfortable with it. Right. So I, I've actually won two. Now I have one on each side of her bed just to... <laughs> I'm going to cure her. Yeah. If it's the last... Yeah, she year. hasn't slept in two no. years. No. Uh, now, I understand uh, you're going to a family reunion next week. Is that right? That's right. Every summer in July. I, I'm from Wisconsin. I'm from Green Bay. Thank you. How many from Green Bay? Not very many. Uh, I'm not I've surprised. never heard a more chilling reaction. <laughs> I've heard every state named in this studio, and everything gets a rousing cheer. Uh, okay. Wisconsin, uh, the okay. life went out of this room. I don't know what happened. I'm going to just leave right now. Yeah. Um, but I do. I go back in the summer, and we have, I'm from a big family of 10 children, and um, we have a big reunion there up by the lake, and right. it's great. Wow. And, what, and what do you do? Like, what do you guys do for fun? And it, you're, you're all together. Well, we, we love the water. The mm -hmm. water's great. We, we like to, you know, we're into food, of course. Right. And so we have this whole kind of thing set up. We've gotten it down to a system here. We, um, we all take turns cooking. Oh, and, that's nice. And cleaning up. Yeah. Right. And, of course, we have, uh, like, we'll have girly man night, which is where all the men <laughs> get together and cook. And it's, you know, of course, all... <laughs> Girly man night could be all the guys getting together and doing a lot of things. I was <laughs> well, relieved to hear you say cook. Just to drive. We all grease ourselves up and wrestle. <laughs> and then tickle ourselves with feathers. Just to drive the women crazy, we like to, you know, cook shirtless, you know, with aprons on. Because, right. You know, and so they, of course, they now insist that we wear hair nets and they would like us to wear body nets, you know. Are the shalubes a hairy, uh, the, the shalub um, males are there? <laughs> Let's just get into it. Let's just find out. I don't want to see anything right now. Bring up. No, 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 no. This show, no. this show is in high def now. People at home could be killed. Yeah. If... You don't want to see. We, uh, we are single-handedly, you know, supporting the waxing industry. <laughs> very nice. Let's just put it that way. It's good to know. Everybody have dinner yet? No? Okay. No, no. It's just very late at night now. Uh... All right. <laughs> Well, they won't sleep then, will they? They won't sleep, no. They'll be thinking about you but waxing yeah, your we, body. We give out a prize for anyone who <laughs> finds a hair in their food. It's okay, uh, you okay. know what I mean? <laughs> I bring you on because you're an esteemed actor. Yeah. I thought you'd bring some class to this show. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never been more disappointed. Okay. <laughs> um, the, uh, the season premiere of Monk uh, airs tomorrow night at 10 right. on USA. And uh, it was really it was really cool to have you on the show. Thank yeah, you. Thanks so, so much for being here. Yeah. Very nice to have you. Tony Shalhoub. Greg Geraldo coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be back.
right, everybody, we are back. So good, my babies. We got a fine show tonight. Fine show coming up tomorrow night. Actor Dan Aykroyd will be with us from the new film Hustle and Flow. Anthony Anderson, a musical guest, Aqualung. So watch that show. Why not? Don't read. Readings for suckers.